Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. We are playing as Kakeru slash Spike. Can you believe it? In Ape Escape 2, as you can see, he's kind of running like he used to. Uh, kind of. Um, this is fucking awesome though, isn't it? Look at that. We get to play as Spike. Now I'm going to show you a few levels of Spike uh, with Ape Escape 1 and 3 music. Are you hearing this right now? This is true Ape Escape music, guys, okay? I don't want to, I don't care what you pretenders, you, uh, deniers don't think, honestly, because I think that this is flat out the best uh, Ape Escape music, honestly. It's so much better. Um, even down to that music there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way better. Replacing it with Ape Escape, you know, giving it that real Ape Escape uh, 1 slash 3 feel. <laughs> even in levels that it doesn't even sound like it sounds right with, it still sounds right. You know what I mean? With Ape Escape music. Um, let's attack this motherfucker. There we go. Got him. Walter. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'd love to do a, an LP of this just with this guy again, but it's just there's no point. I mean, it's the same game. Everything's the same. Except, except I'm pretty sure even, like, cutscenes are removed. Though. Like, I don't think they have cutscenes in it anymore. Um, that's, that's a bit disappointing, but I mean, not surprised. Uh, yeah. Krusty. I love doing this jump, though. This is something I wish I knew from, you know, day day one. You know, I mean, having, the, having this jump, it's, it's so crucial to have, you know? Uh, just, just for, and especially for time trials and stuff, I would have definitely have loved to have used it earlier, earlier on. Um, anyway. He's so cool to play as him again though, like, I don't know. He hasn't, I, I actually kind of prefer his look in Ape Escape 1, dare I say, like, it's, that sounds a bit weird, but like, I mean, just in general, he, he plays a little bit better, for lack of a better word, but I mean, he's still cool in this, but definitely, definitely cool. Alright. Uh, Dini. now I know there's a hidden monkey that's in here. Unfortunately, he's... He's forever hidden in there until we can get him out. Um, but that jump is actually faster than running uh, in this game. It is actually faster than running. That was proven. And there we go. How cool is it to have the uh, this music, the entrance kind of music? And then we go. Yay. Let's have an adventure. Right. So have you guys ever played as... Uh, has Spike in this game, all you have to do is hold down L1 and select while you click new game and you actually just instantly get the players. This is once you complete the game, though, bear in mind, you have to actually fully complete this game. Pro pretty much, yeah, properly. Um, yeah, that's, oh, I actually can't do that, can I? That's right. Let's go into water. Ooh. Water looks glitchy like that. It's very, very ugly color, isn't it? Honestly, not, not, the, not the best color of water. Punto. Pucky punto. Chili. Chili con con. Uh, Alright, there we go. He looks, he looks more awkward too when he runs. I don't know, it just seems weird. Maybe, maybe it's just lost in translation, I guess. Here's Shawnee Boy. Here's Shawnee Boy. Wait. Get your Shawnee Boy. Shawnee Boy, he's a bloody elusive one. There he is. Shawnee Boy. Love it. Alright. Oh, there's another one. Oh. This one's a feisty one. Oh, he jumped, he jumped in, he jumped in. Yes. Don't you dare try and run away from me, Danny boy. Oh. Doors open. Doors open any day of the week. And... Our last monkey... is right here. Now, yeah, I'm not... There you go. Wait. There we go. Wait a minute, what? We actually have all these? It says we have to catch nine monkeys in this level. Well, they, they've, given, they've given us everything now. They, they want us to go ahead and just take them all. Fine. Fine by me, that's for sure. Right. And go. Oh. There we go. We've actually, we've actually got the magic punch. Awesome. Pogo. This is great. This is awesome getting use of the, all the gadgets as a uh, spike. That's nice. I mean, does that mean we just have to get everything in this level? Now that we've got every item, it's kind of like running through it, yeah, it's actually, it's actually kind of cool, isn't it? There we go. I love it, you using the magic punch too. Oh. oh. This is awesome. Getting to, getting to play through the level like in one go as opposed to having to do it in really slow portion to come back and, you know, backtrack and blah 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 and, you know, not not as uh, fun. And look, it's easy just doing it like that too, but we'll, we'll, do it, we'll do it properly. We'll do it the way it was intended. 
And again. Open the gates. We. Let's see if I can actually get in there. What's that guy? Oh, there you go. Watch this. I wonder how many hits it would take to knock him out. Wait, you reckon it would take him just three now? Come on, Toro, Toro, Toro. Toro. Come on, you piece of shit. Run. Go. Yeah, Jesus Christ. There you go. Oh, knock him out. Knock him out. And, oh, that's one hit. It's a one hit KO. All right. Oh, I think it's mum on the phone. He's gonna get me. I gotta wait. I gotta pause this. Uh oh, I'm back. All right. No, uh, takes still takes two takes. A, still takes a few hits. Oh wait, no, yeah, that took two. That's better than. Oh, he gives up. And oh, that would have been a good. Uh, look, they all run out so damn quickly. Stupid thing. Honestly, this the system. The system with the coins in this game is utter garbage. And I mean that. It is terrible. This game, this game gets it all wrong, basically. Alright. Right. Huh. Awkwardly. Misses the jump, and then there's this really random... You, can, you actually can see it, but it's kind of just like random hole in there. There's Lewis. There's something about Lewis. Alright. Up the stairs, get the remaining two. Very easy though. Not too hard at all. This level is pretty... Pretty damn easy. All right. But I like it. I do like this level a lot, actually. Um, I feel like I'm doing another let's play of this, but I really am not. But uh, getting just kind of exploring, just just any honestly any excuse to play as Spike, but also any excuse to play as uh, play with the Apes Game music during Apes Game Three, just to show you how much during Apes Game Two, just to show you how much better it would have been, honestly. There you go. Sorry, buddy. Boss time. Let's play as a boss. Uh, let's be defeat a boss. We got some boss music in here. Um, kind of sounds cool. In its own way. Right. Oh, knockout! This is a very easy boss. You can beat this boss in a minute, basically. Under. Uh... Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, I fell. Well, you can't beat him if you fail like that. But you can beat him. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh shit! He's... Oh no, I'm really fucking up. Like, this never happens. This boss is like almost impossible to die from. Yet I'm on no health. Uh, there we go. He gets, he gets, uh, he's pretty, yeah, he's pretty easy though. I mean, he does a couple, does a couple freak outs, as you see, when he run away. Yeah, there you go. And then you hit him. Done. Let's catch our first boss. There you go. A nice close zoom of him. And gotcha. Now this track is honestly perfect. Now this is honestly the perfect track to have instead of um, the other music. This is Boo Town from Ape Escape 3, of course. And honestly, it just sounds so much more like, I mean, I guess the other level is more serious, it's more horrific, this is more of a joke. Um, but yeah, like honestly, I love this. And just let's take a little bit of time to appreciate the, uh, the look here. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm warming up to them already. I know I was a bit critical before, but yeah. No, honestly, there's good and bad aspects of this uh, uh, Kakeru, Kakeru. There's Arthur, and yeah, this will be the last level I show off um, with the music. I just love, uh, love playing as uh, Spike. I don't know, it just, just feels so much better. He, he feels taller and just feels kind of more, I don't know, it just feels more right. Jimmy just seems like a real, like, cartoon. I don't know, this game is like <laughs> animated, you know what I mean? But I mean, like, it feels like a cartoon in a sense that, like, I don't know, it just doesn't, Jimmy just feels like a fraud to me. Like, he feels like a plastic version of, uh, of Spike slash Kakeru. Um, so, you know, like, I don't know, I don't, yeah, whatever. It's good to play as this guy. It's good to play as you, Spike. I miss you, I want, I want to play you as a, in Ape Escape 3. Actually, in, in many, oh, no, I'd like to put the Million Monkeys model, but, you know, like, properly, like, yeah, would be nice. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. In the next, uh, well, that's it, that's it for Ape Escape 2 videos now. Hope you enjoyed Ape Escape 2. See you later.